Hey guys and welcome to another one. Um, I'm quite excited about this one. So I've come to the same place um, as where I usually always fly there near Canuck. And um, I'm going to fly through all, well hopefully through some of this. It's very, um, it's, got, it's, got, it's got quite a lot of trees in so it's going to have quite a bit of interference in. I've managed to get my hands on um, the iCrystal patch antenna and also some true RC... Uh, True RC antennas. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna film off the EVR so you can actually see what I see and how pixelated it gets when it when you go through all the the trees and well the, all the grass and stuff. And I'm gonna switch over and then film on DVR and hopefully I'm really hopeful that this makes a big difference. Um, hopefully about to see some more literally when well you'll see in the you'll see in the footage that um, when you go through this it gets so pixelated on the screen that you can't actually see what you where you're going, not properly. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to this. I've been waiting for this for about a month because <laughs> I've ordered the patch, I got the patch, and then it was the little stubbies um, that can't get. So I managed, to, I managed to grab my hands on some. So yeah, I'm gonna test it, see what it's like. It's, it's not for um, long distance. Like I said before, this drone isn't long distance at all. I don't, I don't want it to be. For that, I've got my DJI one. This one's more for a bit of fun and learning stuff. On the actual drone but yeah i'm gonna get it set up now we'll see what happens all right Okay, so that was with the um, stock antennas. I'm just going to change it over to the uh, RC, two RCs and the crystal, the old crystal. But um, it wasn't actually that bad. I mean, it usually gets a lot worse. And I'm hoping to be able to put the, um, I think they're called subtitles, so you can see how much um, megabits per second you can see on the actual, you know, on the on the what's been transmitted back. I think the lowest it went to was like in the 40s, just down the main path. But from from when I went all the way down there, near the trees, I actually, I actually lost about two bar from uh, from the goggles to the drone. So it flashed up red. So I'm going to try it. See what happens. Hopefully it comes out better with the new um, antennas on. We'll try it. Okay. So then um, this is the one with the uh, patch antennas and the RC. 
uh, true antennas. There's the true RC. I've put them on the top. I know people say you can put it on the bottom and it makes a difference. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not here for long distance. Um, this is the ice flight crystal. It's a whole patch that goes across the whole goggles. So maybe a bit. Bit of a pain to put back on. But um, they look amazing. Ooh. So yeah, so like I said, um, this isn't this isn't for um, how long range you can actually go. It's for penetration through the trees and hopefully building. Because I'd like to do a bando one day if I get good enough. But um, I'm going to put in the video, maybe just about there, a few seconds of actually what it looks like when you put them on because it's held on by. To put the patch on, it's one there and one there the pack does come with four screws and they've all got locked tight on which is amazing the stubbies i had a pack of four because they're the only ones i could get i might try one time putting all four on see if it makes a difference but at the minute this looks amazing i like the look of that and literally i don't need to take them off now when i pack away because it's that low profile right they don't stick out or anything which is amazing right i'm gonna get this up let's see what it's like Okay, so them, these antennas, really good. Like, um, it's a little bit better penetration for the trees, only a little bit better, but um, what surprised me is when I went a bit further out, and I went past the, when I was going long straight, I went, I could actually go a bit further back. It was only showing on my controller um, one bar from the, the video signal to the quad, whereas with the stock antennas, I'd lost two bar and I was going on to, roughly uh, just about to lose the third one before I turn back but this one I only lost one bar so that's incredible it's not long distance and I'm not going to do it long distance but I think that's really great for the price I think it cost me about about 80 quid for everything but honestly it's such a great setup um yeah I'll think about upgrading the antenna on the drone because I've heard that the stock ones are not fantastic but um we'll see I'm going to have a look online, see what different options I've got out there. But I think it's great. Penetration's a lot, I think it's a bit better. A bit more confident with it now. <laughs> but um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, if you can get these antennas, they're amazing. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.